हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ला एक्सलेंस आई ए एस कलाम प्रोग्राम अ जी एस मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव सीजन टू एपिसोड थर्टी सेवन वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग दिस सीजन फॉर अबाउट फिफ्टी एपिसोड्स आई हैव एन अनाउंसमेंट टू मेक ला एक्सलेंस आई ए एस एज कमिंग अप विद एन सी ई आर टी फाउंडेशन कोर्स एंड फिल्मस कम मेन्स प्रोग्राम फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव एन 2020 in the form of a Zoom online class kindly call the numbers given in the description for more details let us now look at today's question what is convalescent plasma therapy enumerate on the benefits and risks involved this question is from general studies paper 3 from the topic of science and technology and from the sub topic of biotechnology the question is carrying 10 marks and we have to write the answer in 150 words if we look at the context in which this question is being asked the convalescent plasma therapy has been in use for the treatment of covid-19 for quite some time now and two days back health ministry asked the states not to conduct this therapy on covid-19 patients until a study which is being done by icmr for the efficacy as well as the risks associated with this therapy is completed so it is not approved for treatment but only for the research or clinical trial purposes in this context this question has been asked if we look at the prerequisites required to answer this question because it is a science and technology based question one needs to have a conceptual clarity of some important things like what is the meaning of antibodies what is plasma what do you understand by convalescence and what how this therapy is going to work for example if this is a patient who had who has been infected by a disease any infection comes as a foreign body okay any infection comes as a foreign body to the patient and to this foreign body patient patient's body gives an immune response okay this immune response as a part of this immune response substances known as antibodies are produced what do these antibodies do these antibodies try to neutralize this foreign body okay so these antibodies try to neutralize the foreign body so if this patient is going into the recovery stage from this recovery recovering patient we try to draw blood from which plasma is separated what is plasma how is it different from blood plasma is nothing but blood minus blood cells we have various types of blood cells like rbc wbc and platelets so if we remove them from the blood it is plasma it contains water proteins and other coagulating substances okay so this is plasma so this plasma will contain the antibodies in a recovering patient okay these antibodies or this plasma when it is injected into a patient without waiting for the immune response to occur this patient can fight the virus or whatever the infecting substance is so this is the concept behind convalescent plasma therapy what do you understand by convalescence a patient on recovery is known as convalescence the period is known as convalescence period recovery period is known as convalescence period so this conceptual understanding one needs to have before attempting this answer one also needs to have an understanding of the other diseases the examples wherein this convalescent plasma therapy has been used before as well as the benefits and risks involved with convalescent plasma therapy because the demand of the question is that coming to some of the value addition points which can be written in this answer any report which is suggesting that this therapy has been effective in treatment of some diseases will be a value addition apart from this explaining this mechanism in a schematic representation or diagrammatic format will give a lot of value addition let us see what is to be avoided while writing this answer if you observe the question carefully the question is not about covid-19 alone it is a general question on convalescent plasma therapy so 
you can mention about covid 19 but only in one context don't try to focus the entire answer only on covid 19 that is to be avoided if we look at how to write the answer in the introduction body and conclusion format in the introduction you can write a simple definition of what convalescent plasma therapy is and in the body part i think it can be divided into two sub parts or rather three sub parts in the first part giving an explanation of how cpt works okay how it is going to work can be given in the first part and in the second part we will be writing about the benefits associated with convalescent plasma therapy and then you will be writing about the risks involved the benefits and risks are being discussed in the newspapers daily so have a look at them in conclusion you can write that this is being proposed as a modality of treatment for covid 19 and what is its status in india how can it prove to be effic- efficient or simple summarizing of whatever you have written could be done let us now look at a sample answer so this person writes convalescent plasma therapy refers to the usage of antibodies rich plasma antibodies rich plasma drawn from the blood of recovering patients of a disease to treat the patients suffering with same disease so if you see he has written a definition of what is convalescent plasma therapy also he did not specify covid 19 he mentioned about some disease so it is not being specific to covid 19 he has written a general definition i think it is a good enough definition let us see what he writes further he is writing about antibodies antibodies are molecular substances produced as an immune response by host host is the patient to fight any foreign substance entering the body i think this is a good description of antibody he has tried to use these words antibodies and plasma which will be new to even the examiner okay these are key words and they have to be defined so he is defining them then he is writing about plasma what does he write it is component of blood that is devoid of blood cells uh, just as i told plasma is blood minus blood corpuscles he then draws a schematic representation let us see what it is he is writing recovered patient with antibodies to covid 19 virus so recovered patient is having antibodies to the covid 19 virus here he has specified about covid 19 blood drawn and plasma separated plasma rich in antibodies is injected into a patient so that immediate immunity is achieved what happens is for a patient to develop immune response it takes time in that time if the immune response is weak the patient will be engulfed by the virus the patient's cells will be destroyed by the virus and as a result the patient will face severe damage before that only we are injecting these antibodies which will fight with the virus so early recovery and increased chance of survival is seen so he has drawn a small flow chart describing how this convalescent plasma therapy works so far it is good he should not have mentioned here about covid 19 because he is talking in general terms however this is a good introduction as well as good explanation let us see what he writes further he is writing benefits of convalescent plasma therapy in benefits he is writing lancet medical report journal has projected improved survival rates of patients with covid 19 disease treated using this therapy so here because he is telling about the benefits and he is specifying one report he can use covid 19 and here this is a value addition the report is a value addition to our answer and covid 19 is one of the many diseases for which this treatment is used other than this he is writing previously it was used in other infectious diseases also like h1n1 that is swine flu ebola virus middle east respiratory syndrome this should be syndrome this is mers okay so this treatment has been used previously for these diseases and now for covid 19 also it is having an improved survival rate according to a study that he has written as a value addition point i think this is a good enough description what does he write further 
he writes about the risks associated with convalescent plasma therapy in which he is writing risk of transmission of infections okay with hiv hepatitis b or others with transfusion of blood and blood products any component of blood which is transfused from one patient sorry from one person to another patient will carry a risk of transmission of these infectious diseases so that is one risk and then he is writing failure in some patients this convalescent plasma therapy can fail in some patients resulting in worsening of the symptoms so that is another risk and further he writes risk of suppression of body's own natural immune response causing increased severity of reinfection what happens is even before the patient is mounting an immune response okay even before the patient is mounting an immune response we are giving him antibodies so his body will not be producing sufficient antibodies and these antibodies which are given through plasma will be acting only till they are alive you all must be aware that blood replenishes or refreshes itself every few days okay when this happens these antibodies will be no longer present and so if he is reinfected again with the same infectious organism he will not be having immunity to it okay so there is a suppression of body's own natural immune response causing increased severity of reinfection he then writes convalescent plasma therapy is not yet an approved treatment for covid-19 and is still in experimental stage it offers a ray of hope as a potential treatment for covid-19 if proper guidelines are made and risks minimized so this is a conclusion he is giving he is giving an optimistic conclusion that this is op uh, offering a ray of hope for treatment of covid-19 i think this is a good enough conclusion always try to avoid crossing the margins in the exam in 2018 some of them were awarded negative marks because of these mistakes either because of crossing the margins or because of writing in more uh, words okay because of these things they were awarded negative marks some of them to the extent of minus 50 also so because of these they could not make into the list final list okay so such mistakes could prove to be costly try to avoid these okay? okay before coming to the end of our discussion if we analyze the entire answer he has given a decent enough introduction with the definition he has described the key words also then he has drawn a diagram or flow chart to describe how this convalescent plasma therapy works and then he has written the benefits and risks in a presentable format and then he has written a good enough conclusion overall this is a good answer let us come to the end of our discussion before ending let me give you the task for today try to read about various modalities of treatment being used for covid-19 try to also read about vaccine development how it is uh, developed how many days does it take why it is taking so much time for covid-19 so have a thorough knowledge about the medical side of covid-19 make a short note of it and keep it ready for your mains exam because it is very much possible that such a question may come up in this year's mains question for tomorrow's kalam program is given in the description kindly check it and be prepared when you are seeing the kalam's program tomorrow let us all meet again tomorrow thank you